All right, everyone, I am in Amarillo, Texas. I'm downtown. Uh, it's, let's see, look at my phone here. Do that again. Uh, 1122 on a Sunday. I think you can see that. Can you see that? Anyway, yeah, 1122 a.m. on a Sunday. Checking out that building, the Santa Fe building. It's beautiful. Um, but as you can see, it's uh, it is the dead zone. Now, I know there are people who say, "Well, it's dead because it's a Sunday," but uh, that's not really true. A really healthy, vital downtown is busy on Sunday. Uh, I live in McKinney, Texas, a town about the same size as Amarillo, and I can guarantee you that downtown, the downtown in McKinney, is busy right now. In fact, I may do a video on that next. But anyway, as I walk through these deserted streets of downtown Amarillo, I will tell you a little bit about the city. Uh, it's got a population of just over 200,000 as of 2021. Uh, metro is 308,000. So a little bit bigger if you include the met uh, Metro. Now when you drive in and out of Amarillo, you notice that uh, the city ends pretty quickly. Not much in the way of suburbs. Uh, it's just kind of out here alone all by itself there's not any huge cities close but um, some of the interesting things about Amarillo uh, it's called bomb city are you aware that all nuclear weapons are assembled and disassembled here in Amarillo all of them I'm curious what the uh, locals think of that um, it is one of the largest meat packing uh, centers in the United States and agriculture is huge here as you can imagine 14 acres or let me re-say it let me say it this way Amarillo is surrounded by 14 million acres of farmland that's a lot uh, some of the quirky things that Amarillo is known for that we will, I will grab the wife and we will see. Of course, Cadillac Ranch, the world famous Cadillac Ranch. Uh, it's an art installation just outside the city. And then, of course, there's the big Texan restaurant bar. This place is famous uh, in that if you sit down and eat their steak, their 72 ounce steak, in an hour, you get it free. And they've been doing that forever. The first time I ever went through Amarillo, man, it's windy. First time I ever went through Amarillo uh, was probably 11, so that was 46 years ago. Yeah, that's how old I am. Let me see if I can get out of this wind. Damn, okay, that's better. Anyway, yeah, 46 years ago we drove through, and uh, I, st I saw the signs then. Huge signs up and down the freeway. Uh, the big Texan eat this steak 72 ounce steak in an hour and it's free and it's by the way it's not just the steak it includes a salad baked potato a shrimp cocktail had the list here a roll and uh, yeah okay anyway uh, let's see 9900 people have successfully won the challenge by the way so almost 10,000 people and I'm saying this off the top of my head, but around 70,000 have tried it. So those are two of the things, or two of the quirky things that Amarillo is known for. Like I said, uh, I've probably driven through this town 20 times uh, on my way back and forth to Salt Lake City when I was younger. And then uh, the wife and I have spent the night here five or six times. But in my life, or all of my life, I have never came downtown. No idea what it looks like. Now when you drive the freeway through uh, Amarillo, it looks really nice. The city is beautiful and modern out there. 
And I've always wondered, well, I wonder what it looks like downtown, and is it the same? I don't think so. I had read that um, the city is cognizant of the fact that the downtown has been neglected and that they are working on fixing it. And that's a good uh, that's good news to hear. But they still got some work to do. Is uh, there is no one here. And it's not because it's Sunday, right? Before anybody types that. Downtowns first and foremost are the gathering place of its residents. Downtowns are the place that you show visitors. Because people say, well, I'm going to go to Amarillo. They're going to go downtown. Because that's where the action is supposed to be. And then uh, it's also a place that people live. I don't think very many people live here. Anyway. What else is there about to Amarillo? It's the Spanish word for yellow, by the way. And so named because of all the uh, yellow flowers that encircle the city and when you drive in you see them just growing everywhere uh, yeah I think I've covered pretty much everything except maybe the hard numbers here let me get my notes out uh, the poverty rate here is 15.4 percent that's versus 11.2 percent uh, for the rest of the country so it's a little high the median household income is 52,900 versus the US average of 67,500. So people make a little less money here. And uh, the per capita income is 28,900 versus 35,400 average for the rest of the country. Just taking another look at the tallest building in the city. So, uh, uh, you know, the incomes are a little bit lower versus the uh, country as a whole. Yeah, let's see this, a completely empty parking lot. Um, and then there's crime. Actually, crime is not bad here. 45.19 per 1,000 people. The U.S. average is 41.29, uh, 29, yeah. 0 0.29, I'll get that spit out. So crime is actually right in line with the rest of the country here. So that's uh, not too bad. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll walk a little bit more and see if there's anything interesting that I can spot. And then, uh, you know, go take a little bit of a drive just outside of downtown. And then, like I said, I'm gonna grab the wife and we will do some stuff, including see uh, Cadillac Ranch and we will go have a drink at the Big Texan. I've seen the signs for that place millions of times. It'll be uh, kind of cool to actually go inside it. So that will be coming up. It is uh, deathly quiet, except for maybe the uh, little bit of wind that you could be hearing in the camera. But other than that, there's just nothing here. It's eerie. Um, you can see downtown right there. I'm very close, a couple blocks out. Anyway, uh, I had mentioned earlier that this is a jump city for us. What I meant by that is we stay here for one night and kind of launch our trip from the city you know because it gets us closer there I've never done a video on it obviously so we had an extra day and I thought I'm curious to see what downtown Amarillo looks like and uh, this is a major thoroughfare I would guess Look at me, I can just walk right out here in the middle of it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we will stay in Amarillo 
one night and then you know kind of it's a jumping point to places like uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco and Seattle uh, up into Denver um, when you drive along the interstate through the middle of town or close to the middle of town it's uh, modern and nice really nice uh, here I'll throw in a little just a little footage driving up the freeway right now yeah it's, uh, it's modern and nice and uh, I've always just assumed that uh, downtown would be the same but it's about noon on a Sunday you can see for yourself <laughs> I can just walk around in the streets hear a little bit of traffic in the distance which would be the freeway now uh, I-40 or the yeah, the interstate is that way not very far and that's what you're mostly hearing huh. wow it's crazy isn't it I'm looking down Southwest 8th. Now you can see one car in the distance. I'm a uh, block down. Just taking it all in. Oh, look, there is a vehicle. It's the first one I've seen in a while. Pickup truck. I'm very close to the tallest building. Head uh, close to the tall building. Seeing a little bit of artwork over here. Some there, some there. I don't know if you can see it in the middle of the frame. The sun is in the wrong place, so it's kind of in the shade. Tallest building in the city. More of the same. Deathly quiet, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Oh, there's a car. Wow, there's two more. Signs of life. Three more. I love that sign, but it looks really cool at night. Uh, now this is Polk Street. It seems like it's the main, the main street, maybe. There's a car. It's uh, right at noon. Yeah, there's a police cruiser in the middle of the street With these lights on I wonder why uh, FW Woolworth Co five and dime store uh, it is a cocktail lounge now and that's pretty cool police officer still here not sure what he's doing and a uh, six car pub I saw a couple people out on the patio which is right around the corner uh, yeah, right around the corner there. Got a few people. It's coming to life ever so slightly. A 
anyway I'm going to uh, head to the car to the Bronco and drive around um, the streets very near here downtown I'm not going to wander off too far so I'm going to do that right now okay I am right in downtown so I'll go take a look at some other neighborhoods right close here you can see where I am at uh, downtown looks really nice from here doesn't it uh, it looks really nice actually but anyway yeah so yeah I want to go up this way first put it in drive first and uh, I'll just cut it right here well, I can't it's a one way so I'll go the next street and cut it right see what's over there all right I uh, yeah I'm just a couple blocks up still technically in downtown and I just drove by this stately beautiful building and it is not occupied boarded up at the bottom there I, I don't understand that I'm not sure what it is someone can uh, fill us in in the comments that is a beautiful building I, I can't believe somebody can't find something to do with that hotel or apartment buildings or apartment complex or apartments let's just say it that way an apartment building looks like it could easily be one of those I'm flabbergasted I really am uh, it's in a prime location you can see that <laughs> it's even next to a police station which is right there well I don't know I don't get it I guess there's just not any money here for it yeah it looks like I'm heading directly south yes I am actually a couple blocks off you can see the uh, interstate in the distance there. Maybe you can see it. Uh, they, looks like they got a stadium here. Probably for baseball, it looks like. Not really any residential here. Got to get a, farther, a bit farther out, I guess. See what's down here. Big mural. The train going by. Amarillo was a and is still a railroad center. Additionally to everything else. So you can see I am uh, well, I'm heading north east of downtown. Uh, very quiet. See there's that big empty building right there in the middle of the frame. Um, this looks like a uh, train station. It's closed off. The tracks are right there on the other side. Maybe they're going to develop it. it. Doesn't look like it right now, though. It looks like it's just uh, sitting there empty. Hmm. Yeah, you can see a train going by. I'm going to go through here, see what's on the other side, and then turn around and go uh, north of downtown. But uh, let's see what's up here. I'm curious. Somebody's got a 
semi truck in their yard there. See that? Yeah. Uh, they've got a uh, looks like an old locomotive on display here. This is what you have next to it. up here. Now uh, that is empty. Uh, that was a, or is a very small home. Another boarded up house. North East. Yeah, that one's boarded up and empty also. I'm surprised at um, how many boarded up homes I'm seeing. Because I know the city's growing steadily. Really, look at all this undeveloped uh, property. So close to the uh, city center, too. I'm kind of surprised by that. <laughs> uh, where I live in, in suburban Dallas, something like this just doesn't exist. And if it does, it's because whoever owns it wants a small fortune for it. And they'll get it. Wow. Looks like I have found some sort of uh, large homeless encampment. I mean, look at that. Yep, yeah, it's homeless. There's trash everywhere. Wow. Look at that. That is a big homeless encampment. That's the most I've seen. They're all staring at me, too. Huge homeless. Well, not huge compared to some of the uh, northwestern cities. But it was pretty big. I guess they don't let uh, homeless pitch their tents downtown. It's possible. Yeah, see where I'm at here? Now you can see that's downtown here. So I'm northwest. few homes here and there and of course ones that are abandoned uh, notice city of Amarillo notice of condemnation god I would hope so I mean you cannot live in that that just needs to be torn down huh. all right I'm gonna head uh, directly west of downtown I don't know if you can read that sign it says that this is Historic North Heights. So, I guess we can take a look at that. Uh, see, downtown is here. So, north, I am northwest of downtown. And it says that this is a historic neighborhood. 
and let's see what's over here. I'm not familiar with it. So if uh, anybody watching lives here knows about it, post a comment. At first glance, it looks pretty undeveloped though. directly east towards downtown not a lot of residential here just a lot of uh, what looks like abandoned commercial and occasionally you'll see a, a house if that's a house I'm I'm not sure what that is that somebody lives in that trailer uh, into downtown I'm trying to get closer again yeah, you can see on the map downtown is on the right as, as I head east getting a little too far out I like to stay close to downtown in my explorations that's what this channel is really about it's uh, the architecture of downtown and the uh, neighborhood surrounding it. So let me go up here a little ways and then make a right hand turn. Yeah. See what's over here. directly west of downtown now. Huh. Uh, it's one o'clock one o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. I've got the streets to myself. Again, it's it's eerie. I mean, it's uh, end of the world kind of eerie. Real nice homes over here. Yeah, I am uh, almost directly south of downtown. That's yeah, really nice over here. Interstate is right there, I-40. Oh, look at that one. Is that a single family home? <laughs> oh, it's a historic home. Okay. Oh. It's nice over here. You can see the tallest building directly in front. So yeah, directly south of downtown. It's another beauty. Would you look at that? Another one over here. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, I've kind of encircled downtown. So uh, there is a neighborhood, a historic neighborhood, I believe, that I want to see. Um, so, I'm going to head there right now. I'm, I was actually in that neighborhood, the Polk Street Historic Neighborhood. So this, the houses I just showed you were part of that. Take a look a little bit more.
Yeah. I, don't, I think I missed this one. Wow, what a house. Look at that, and it's somebody's home. Private property, no trespassing. Now that is a genuine mansion. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, this is a historic district of beautiful homes. And uh, it is delivering. You can see them through the trees. Ah. There's one right here. This is the one we saw a minute ago. Yeah. See what's over here. I wanted to show you the contrast. See that with the little uh, cat in the window? Now look at that back there. I mean, uh, what do you say? This duplexes, which are in very bad condition, are directly across the street from this beautiful huge mansion. Wow. Huh. Okay. All right, that's going to be it for this part of the video. Um going to head to our hotel. We are just off the interstate, and uh, you know I'll tell you up front that part of the uh, city is really nice. In fact, maybe I'll show you a little video clip of it when we get there. But we are on the western edge of the city, right off uh, I-40, in a really nice hotel, surrounded by uh, new businesses and uh, really nice homes. Though it doesn't look like this everywhere, but as you guys know, I mostly explore downtown and the area surrounding downtown. That's it. Uh, that's the places that are usually interesting. So, uh, I, hopefully I gave you an idea of what it looks like in the middle of Amarillo, uh, Amarillo in the city center and just around it. Now I'm going to grab the wife. Uh, huh. Gonna go grab Nicole, and we're gonna go see some of the quirky things. Cadillac Ranch, and uh, we're gonna go to that big Texan. So uh, that's coming up now. We are on our way to uh, Cadillac Ranch. Had <laughs> to look at that. I have to stop back at that on the way. Three quarters of a mile. Sure. Prepare to park your car near West Interstate 40 <laughs> Frontage Road. Then right. need to park your, to your car. destination from there. Yep, Australian Siri uh, talking away, huh? Yeah, okay, so there they are out there. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, we have to walk all the way over there. Yep. I mean, is there a walkway? There is a walkway, yes. All right, so there it is, Cadillac Ranch. We're gonna head there right now. Yeah. Now, even the trash dumpsters here are painted on. Huh. How come they didn't paint little Cadillacs all over? <laughs> no, that's just where people I know. who come here with their spray can. We don't have a spray can, we have a marker. We're gonna mark our names on. Yeah. Yeah, they're over there. There's ten of them. I always thought there were seven. Hmm. Look, they even they even mark the road. <laughs> Everything gets painted out here. And the bars to get in are painted too. What? Everything's painted. Got a food truck out here as well. That's a smart idea. Oh no, it's not a food truck. They sell paint. <laughs> That's an even better idea. Yeah, they sell paint. All right, I'm waiting on Nicole. She gets some paint. Spray some paint. Spread some love. Okay, I didn't know they were this big. Yeah. Wife got me blue and you got purple, right? Purple paint. He got mad that I got two cans. And we're heading to the, uh, uh, there's the cars. We're coming up on them. Braves. All right, we are here. And now the wife is afraid to paint. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to 
wanted to get on my clothes. That's she doesn't want it to get on her clothes. A legit uh, concern. Just want to back up and get a look at him. It's pretty, pretty uh, interesting sight, isn't it? <laughs> well, I guess we'll try to paint something. Look at the tire is even so painted. It's, I don't know. Let me touch it. It feels like what a ball of paint would feel like. You know, it's kind of soft. Well, because people have been painting on it for years. I know, it's just like layer upon layer of paint, isn't it? Yep. Amazing. I have written Lord Spoda was here 2022. I'm trying to get you. You got it? Joe and All right, I just, yeah, I just wrote our names. Joe plus Nicole. There it is. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't yeah. on this one. Yes. I don't know. Don't spray over that guy's eyeball he just painted. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Now you're going to write it in small letters. All right, there you go. Nicole. Ta-da. I kind of want to do this, but I feel bad. Is that brand new? Probably. I'm putting a line under. All right, put a line under. And you have made your mark on Cadillac Ranch. Uh -huh. Until somebody paints over it. <laughs> right? Yep. Until somebody paints over it. Cool. And I didn't get paint on me. All right. See, Siri, Australian Siri got us here. Arrived. All right, we've uh, parked the car. One of the overlooks for this um, canyon, Palo, Palo Duro Canyon, right? Mm -hmm. This is the second largest canyon system in the United States after uh, the Grand Canyon. Driven by it so many times, never actually went and saw it. So I'm kind of excited to see it. Wow. That's kind of spectacular. Texas is so flat here for miles and miles and miles. And it's bizarre to think that there's such a large hole in the ground, if you will. Not really a hole, though. But that there's an area like this. We are at the El Coronado Lodge. I'm like, you, you're the one who usually trips. Yeah, I didn't trip. You're the tripper. You're the tripper, tripping, tripperston. It just closed on us, so uh, we're SOL there. Yep. But it's got a good view. Wow. I wanted the little girls were money. It's so quiet. We are at the Big Texan Steak Ranch. I don't know if you can see that. Home of the free 72 ounce steak. Are you gonna go for that? No. <laughs> I've, I've driven by this place a hundred times since I was 11. And uh, there's always the big billboards and a hundred miles in each direction, tons of them, saying, eat this 72 ounce steak in an hour and it's free. But it's not just the steak though, right? Right, it's not just the steak, a bunch of other stuff with it. But it's gotten so big, like it has its own hotel now, or motel. This motel is uh, part of the uh, restaurant, and the restaurant's right here. And the ambiance. Yeah, the restaurant is right here. They have this big, uh, I don't know what that is. Big Tex Rex, that's what it's called. Let me get on the other side so you can see it. Because of the sun. Of course, there's a huge cow <laughs> out front. Yeah, this is total. Uh, Americana. <laughs> yeah, there he is. The Tex Rex. And then, of course, here is the restaurant. So, we're going to go in there. Never been in it. So, I'm kind of excited. Yeah, right here in front of the restaurant. Highway Texas Route 66 Ranger. 
<laughs> yeah, huge cow here. All right. All right, we are inside now. Wow. <laughs> I've got a gift shop. They got all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> wow. It's more than just a restaurant. This is a bona fide uh, tourist attraction. What do you think the restaurant is? Is it that way with this huge line? Holy cow. Let's go back here and check it out. We are sitting at the bar and uh, I've just ordered food. So while I wait for it to come. A couple of steaks, but not the 72 ounce. <laughs> yeah, no 72 ounce steak. I Smaller about, steak. I thought about doing it. I'm quite happy. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at this place because it's a. Uh, Boy, it's crazy. Very much American schlock. <laughs> Campy. So here on the other side of the bar, they've got a uh, place where you can uh, <laughs> do some target shooting. And uh, we'll head this way. There's, is that another bar? But no snow bar. Stools at this bar. Huh, interesting. And I'm gonna see what's back here. Oh, oh, here we go. This looks like outdoor seating. Full of all the cool direct, uh, um, decorations is the word I'm trying to say. <laughs> I guess if you eat the steak successfully, you get to sit in this chair, or perhaps it's you sit in this chair while you're eating. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the menu here, and it says, uh, Big Texan, proud tradition of excellent food made fresh daily. 100% of our steaks are aged and cut here. No franchise or chain food served here. Mm, everything's made fresh. How many people have done this steak challenge? And they have a running number on their website. Let's see if you're gonna read that. Can you read that? My camera, the camera won't focus. Anyway, 10,077 people so far out of 87,655 tries. Now there you go. There's your answer. All right, our food has arrived. I have chicken fried steak with mashed potatoes and big slices of tomato. And you have, what did you get? Steak with I got, uh, mushroom? I got sirloin with sauteed mushrooms, baked potato, and I got broccoli. And broccoli. Looks good, doesn't it? How about that? How about that cup? Cool. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, that was good food, too. Yes, I am so full. Yeah, that was really good food. Uh, I mean, Amarillo is pretty fun. Uh, yeah, Amarillo is a place you can come and spend a couple days and have uh, a good time and see a lot of stuff. Um, it's a tale of two cities. Um, suburbia, outside of town, is really nice. Manicured lawns, three car garage houses. Uh, it's very nice. Downtown is struggling a little and the area around downtown is pretty bad. So I don't want you to get the impression that the whole city is bad because it's not. And along the freeway here it's really nice. There's my wife acting goofy. Um, it's a fascinating place. Uh, it's just, it's too bad that it looks like it does around downtown because the rest of the city looks great. Anyway, that's it for this video. Oh, nice we are going now. to, we, yeah, we are full. I started out starving, but ooh, we are going to head back to Dallas because uh, once a month we have to check on our kids, check the mail, get the oil changed in the car, check on my grandchild. all that stuff. Yeah, she's uh, Nicole's got to check on her grandchild. I'm about <laughs> to have a second one, and she's about to have a second one. She's not, her daughter is, but anyway, yeah, so that's it on this one, and then uh. We will be heading. We'll be heading to the East Coast uh, in uh, about a week. Actually, a few days when you see this. So, uh, yeah, Bye. be looking for that video.